Okay, so we have a quick review. You have three possibilities when you solve a system of equations. And uh, if you graph it and they intersect, you have one solution. If you graph it and they're parallel, you have no solutions. If you graph it and it's the same line, you have infinite solutions. Now, what happens when we use the substitution for elimination method? Well, if we if the graphs intersect, when you use this method, you will get x equals the number and y equals the number. If you use the substitution, substitution or elimination method and they're parallel, the variables will reduce out. You will get in it a false statement. An example of this would be 2 equals 3, because this is not true. What happens when we use the substitution elimination method and we have uh, infinite solutions, which is the same line? Well, the variables reduce out and we get a true statement. An example of this would be 3 equals 3. An example of the substitution method is the problem to solve the system of equations. 3x plus 4y equals negative 4. And the second equation is x plus 2y equals 2. The goal of this method is to get a variable by itself. So with this second equation, I can subtract 2y from both sides and get x equals negative 2y plus 2. Now, I take this x equals negative 2y plus 2, and I go back into my top equation, and where the x is, right, I used to have 3x plus 4y equals negative 4, and now I have 3 times, instead of the x, I put negative 2y plus 2, so I need to put that in parentheses, plus 4y equals negative 4. I distribute and get negative 6y plus 6 plus 4y equals negative 4. Clean that up and get negative 2y plus 6 equals negative 4. I subtract 6 and get negative 2y equals negative 10. I divide by 2, excuse me, by negative 2 and get y equals plot. All right, so I got half my answer. Half my answer is, hey, uh, my answer is blank, comma, five. So to figure out my other part of my answer, I take one of these equations. Uh, I'm going to choose this one because it looks easier. And I'm going to take x plus 2y equals 2. And hey, I know that y is 5. So I have x plus 2 times 5 equals 2. So that gets me x plus 10 equals 2. Subtract 10, and that gets me x equals negative 8. So now I know that my final answer is x equals negative 8, comma, 5. My x value is negative 8, my y value is 5, and I should go and check my answer. The last method was substitution, and in substitution, my goal was to get a variable by itself, and so now this method is called elimination or combination, they're synonyms. The goal now is for me to get opposite numbers here, or opposite numbers here. It's going to be very easy for me to get opposite numbers right here. If I multiply the top equation by negative 2, I gotta be fair. I gotta do the top equation, I gotta be fair and multiply everything by negative 2. So my bottom equation stays the same. Didn't do anything to it. My top equation becomes negative 4x, notice they're opposite, they're opposite, they're opposite, plus 8y equals negative 26. The goal of this method is, once I have opposites, I'm able to combine my uh, two equations by adding, and when I combine them, hence, the, it's, hence some people use the, the term the, the combination method, uh, when I combine them, it actually eliminates negative 4x plus 4x is 0x, it's gone, I don't have it anymore. Hence how why some people call it the elimination method, so what do I do have is 3y 
equals negative 18. I divide by 3, and I get y equals negative 6. So I now know that my answer is, uh, I'm not sure what x is, but I know that y is negative 6. For me to find out what my x is, I do just what I did last time. I pick one of these equations. I'm going to pick this one. And I'm going to get 2x minus 4 times negative 6 equals 13. That's 2x plus 24 equals 13. So I subtract 24, and I get 2x equals negative 11. I divide by 2, and I get x equals negative 11 halves. So my x value is negative 11 over 2, and just like we did in the graphing method or the substitution method, I should check to make sure that my answer works. All right, so I'm looking at this problem, and I think the easiest way for me to do this problem is to eliminate or combine. And all I need to do is I am going to multiply the top equation by negative 2. And so what that does for me is I get negative 2x um, plus 4y equals negative, negative 6. And in the bottom equation, I'm not going to change anything. I get 2x minus 4y equals 7. And so now I have opposites. Where that's where I want to get my opposites, so I want to combine them. And when I combine them, here, this hasn't happened before. This is eliminated, and this is eliminated, and I have uh, 1. So I have 0 equals 1. So this is a false statement, and this is an example of when the lines are parallel if I was graphing. And so in the algebra method of, of substitution or combining, when I get a false statement, the variables reduce out and I get a false statement, this means that there is no solutions. Okay. Uh, in this example, uh, I'm going to use the substitution method because I think I can quickly rearrange this and get x. And I'm going to add y to both sides. I'm going to get x equals uh, y plus 3. Oh, that's pretty easy. So I'm going to take this y plus 3 and put it in down here for x. So I'm going to have negative 2 times y plus 3 plus 2y equals negative 6. So what happens here? I distribute and get negative 2y minus 6 plus 2y equals negative 6. I add 2y to the negative 2y. Well, they're opposites. I add them and get 0y minus 6 equals negative 6. But wait a minute. That's just negative 6 equals negative 6. Uh, my variable is reduced out. I have a true statement. And so this tells me that I have many solutions. And so if I was graphing, which I was in the last section, this is an example of the lines being on top of each other. So this is a, I gave you two examples of the substitution method, two examples of the combination method. I showed you how, once again, there's three possibilities. Sometimes they'll intersect and you'll get an answer, x equals a number, y equals a number. Sometimes you will get a false statement, which tells you that there's no solution. And sometimes you'll get a true statement, which tells you that there's infinite solutions or synonym for that, many solutions. I hope that you now have a grasp of how to solve equations using the substitution or combination, uh, a synonym for combination, elimination method.